Welcome to the HitLab and today is a very special day because we got some new robotics equipment from uh, VEX Robotics. They've been so kind to uh, send us a sample of the latest uh, technology. So um, today we're just going to see um, what great stuff they sent us um, and what we can do with it. So this is the first unpacking video I guess we have of robotics in a while. So robots are usually just more expensive than just some head mounted displays. Let's see. Okay. If you hear anything scream, it's from the robot inside. <laughs> so let's see what we got. We got tracks. Lots of tracks and some, some wheels, some gear wheels. Um, and you can have a look at this. This is actually um, some, some wheels. Um, gear wheels, and I guess they are in, intended for um, these um, type of tracks. So these are probably tracks to ride on the ground. And these are tracks for uh, just transmitting force. Um, right, we've got wheels, wheels, and more wheels. Interestingly, uh, of course the comparison to Mindstone will come up anyway. But as you see, the axles they use is actually have a different kind of shape than the Lego one. So this is not directly compatible to Lego, but um, hopefully just as strong. Ooh, rotor caster wheels. Now these ones are off, so I have to open this one. Um, this is something you can't even get from Lego. So these are very special wheels uh, in the sense that they can, you know, they, they roll like this, but they can also roll like this. So they're pretty cool um, that is not available from original Lego and um, so nice uh, Vex IQ hmm not sure what this is man this could be a servo so let's have a quick check. look what we have in here and this looks like a <laughs> not quite sure could be uh I am not quite sure what this is. Um, could be a servo because they have got the um, little motor thing in here. And of course this is the communication. So it could be a servo. But we'll find out soon, soon enough once we start building our first robot with this. So we got some servos. And then the big box. Let's have a look what we have. in a box. Now, how poutine could this be? Alright. That's a book. So, this is the Vex IQ Super Kit. So, there are different kind of kits that they're selling. And obviously, this is um, a, cat, a kit which has a lot of different components that you can use for building all sorts of different robots. And uh, here, I guess, we see a couple of robots that you can do. Um, we saw the gears already, we saw the wheels already. Um, so these are indeed what I was suspecting before. So these will definitely be servos. Uh, this will be probably the computer. So um, yeah, that's going to be fun. Yep, definitely more servos. You can never have enough servos, so that's good. Uh, bit of a battery. Radio module, so for radio control, the whole thing. Not quite sure what these are yet. It's probably some sort of sensors. This could be a gyro sensor. Well, oh, this is definitely a light sensor. Not sure what this one is. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Right, we have got some actual documentation so that we know what we're supposed to be doing. Building instructions for one of the robots. And one of the things that you already see that is different from, from Lego is that they have a couple of bricks which are just huge. Um, and that makes building large robots a little bit easier. Now that's what I call a good bag of, of, of bricks. Uh, 
What I meant to say was that you have this kind of parts, which are, this is just one part, right? And this is really huge. So if you want to build a huge robot, that'll be much easier than combining many, many small Lego pieces. So that's pretty sweet. Um, connectors, lift arms. Okay, then these are the um, pin connectors for connecting the uh, different uh, pieces together. Um, more plates. So that's that's really interesting. That yeah, more we more tooth wheels. And here we see the difference between the tooth wheels. These tooth wheels are the ones to run with the tracks, and these are the tooth wheels which are supposed to run against other tooth wheels. So that's good to have, of course. And we got some more wheels. And more wheels. And ah, these are just separate wheels. I'm not quite sure. So that's pretty good. Um, now, how about this? A remote control. Now, this is something, this seems to be some sort of typical um, remote control that you would also find like in a PlayStation or an Xbox. But having this directly come with your robot is quite convenient. Now, there are some uh, third-party tools that enable Lego Mindstorm to do this as well, but uh, having this right in the box, of course, is pretty sweet. Um, well, Mindstorm has now has, has have some um, apps for Android and iOS, so you can remote control um, a robot that way, but having a dedicated input device uh, is kind of nice. So, here we have then, I suppose, this is the brain, which has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13 inputs outputs. That's that's a good number. And what do we hear? Robot battery charger. Wow, you have to charge a battery, which is an interesting thing because uh, quite often with the Lego Mindstorms, there is no dedicated charger. You actually need to have you need to charge the battery. Um, yeah, there's no external charger. So if we would have more than one battery then we could have one battery charging while we use the other one. So that's something to look out for and see if we have more than one battery. Um, here we've got, of course, typical cables. And interestingly, these are the exact same cables that Lego Mindstorm is using. So I could, could at least agree on something. Uh, USB, as you would expect. Rubber bands. Hmm, interesting. What are we going to use that one for? Um, let's see. Oh, this is the battery. Now that's a whopper. That's a whopper. 7.2 volts, 2000 milliamperes. Not bad. But it's not lithium. It's nickel MH. That's what's MH. I forgot. So it's not lithium, but this is a heavy battery, in which of course also justifies the heavy charger. So that's interesting. All right, and here, this is something really interesting. I mentioned before that the axles look different and the axles with this um, toolkit from VEX is actually made of metal, not of plastic. So it will be able to withstand much more force, which is also interesting. So this potentially can give you some more powerful um, robots. But of course, you know, if this doesn't break, then of course the, uh, you know, the plastic parts where you put it in will break. So one way or the other it will break. Um, but here we have got some metal axles. Right, so all custom wheels, wheels. Lots of good stuff in here. Let's see, the only thing we're missing still is what do we have here? Control system user guides. So I suppose this is the overall system, how you connect everything, the motors and the sensors. Uh, wow, well, that's probably to be expected. I wonder what programming languages they use. Well, we're gonna find out. That's one thing. And what else what do we have here? Vex IQ, super kit contents building tips. Wow, wouldn't you know? Building tips in the form of a poster. Now we're gonna put this up, I suppose. All oh, right, look at that. Yeah, you have all the different beams and you can just compare it against and see which one is which and all the different elements which are supposed to be in here. So if ever anything gets lost, you know at least it's lost. Um, not that you will ever get it back, but at least you know it's lost. 
So I might have to put this up on my wall to make sure that nothing ever gets lost. So there you have it. This is the new Vex Super Kit. Vex IQ Super Kit. Can't wait to get this started with the HitLab. So if you want to come around and build the robot with us, you better be quick. Talk to you soon.